Hi guys, Steve here, and on this video I'm going to show you how to solo tame a Quetzal. It's been a while since I did my last video, and since then they've added some new creatures. So it's about time I did an updated one. But first off, I keep getting asked that can you get a Quetzal to follow you if you eat wild flowers? As when you do it, it makes all dinos around you aggressive. I'm trying it here, and as you can see it doesn't work on a Quetzal. It will attract any other flies around you, just not the one you want. Okay, let's get started. There are now three ways you can tame a Quetzal solo, and we're going to begin with a method I originally came up with, and that's with an Argentavis. Equipment wise, you will need a crossbow with a grappling hook loaded. To shoot at a Quetzal, you will need a long neck rifle or another crossbow, then the corresponding ammo, knockout arrows for the bow or trank darts for the rifle. Load the grappling hook onto the crossbow and make sure you have a crossbow equipped, as you'll be jumping off the Argent and you'll need to fire it straight away. It's also a good idea to take parachutes. They help to steady the aim while firing, and if you fall off your RG, it will save you from death. Now we're ready, let's go and find a Quetzal. I found one, so I'll just fly closer to it. Next we're going to jump off our bird and shoot it with a grappling hook. You might be a bit nervous the first time you try it, but just jump off, turn and shoot. And anyway, you've got the parachutes as a backup in case you miss. Press the right mouse button to extend the cable and lower yourself down. When you've got enough length, activate the parachute and this will steady your aim while you're firing. Next, whistle to attack the Quetzal and your Argent will fly to it. Next, switch to your rifle and start shooting the Quetzal. It will fly off, but your Argent will keep chasing it. Whistle command on a PC to attack the target is full stop and the move to target whistle is comma. Sorry, I don't know what those are on the console. I clicked the wrong one there. I meant to press comma as that will stop it attacking. When it starts to fly away, whistle attack target again. When your Argent gets close to it, click comma, which is a whistle command to move to location and that will stop your Argent attacking the Quetzal. Comma works the same as putting it on passive, it's just easier and gives you more control. You'll get a green arrow icon every time you whistle go to location. You can actually use that whistle to direct your Argent if you want to. Just hit my Argent there, it seemed to fly through it and hit the Quetzal. Whistle attack makes it easy to follow. Just make sure you press the other whistle to stop it attacking. It's going to take a while to get it down, so I'm going to skip forward a bit. There we go, I've knocked it out. Switch back to the crossbow with a grappling hook, and press the left mouse button to reel you in. And when you get close to the bird, press E to mount it. The only thing you can't really control is where the Quetzal is going to fall, and as you can see, it's gone in a river. It's going to die, but it was a low level male, so I couldn't use it anyway. But once you get it down, that's the hard part done. The next method is very similar to the Argent, but you're using a Tapajara this time. You just won't be using a grappling hook. Find a Quetzal and follow it. Look at the direction it's heading, then land the top of Jara facing where it's going to be. Then dismount and hold E, that brings up your menu wheel, go to passenger seats, and you need to board the front seat. Next look at a Quetzal and whistle attack target. This will make the top of Jara leave the ground and fly towards the Quetzal. Because you're in the front seat it gives you clear visibility to shoot the Quetzal, and you'll be controlling the top of Jara by whistling. Just before the top of Jara attacks a Quetzal, click comma which is moved to location and you'll be using this whistle to turn and guide where you're flying. When a Quetzal starts flying away, whistle attack target again and you'll give chase. I would keep hitting it in the body and only try and hit it in the head when you're sure you can do it. You can whistle fly to location to slowly get there, but it's not that reliable and you'll fall behind. 
The best option is just to whistle attack target and you'll fly right towards a Quetzal. Then whistle location again to stop it attacking. As it's going to take a while, I'm going to skip forward until it's almost down. It's flown into the cliff wall and the top of the jar is close to the ground so it's landed. It does this automatically. The only way to get it to take flight again is to whistle attack target. It gets a bit awkward to shoot against a cliff wall, so to keep changing your direction, whistle move to location to keep facing the Quetzal. Also use that whistle to turn you around. If a quest was about to go out of your line of sight, whistle to attack target again so you chase it. There we go and we've got it down again. Let's see if I can find a good place to land. Well, the Quetzal is going to be safe up here, so I'll give it some kibble. For the third and easiest method, we'll be using a griffin. Now these don't need saddles like the other two flyers, so you don't have to wait before your certain tech level to make the saddles. The thing that's good about these is you can shoot your rifle as you're flying. Taming a griffin is dangerous when you're a low level, so it's best to trap them in a cage. I've made a video on how you can do that in my playlist. To equip the rifle, just press the corresponding key on your hotbar. Use your movement keys to control where the griffin goes, and use your mouse to aim and fire the rifle. It's much easier than the other two methods because you've got full control. But I put the other methods in in case you don't have a griffin or you can't get one on your map. For the handful of people who commented on my last video saying why don't you just shoot it with a chain bowler, well how are you going to get your first Quetzal if you're playing solo and you haven't got a Quetzal to put a giant crossbow on to fire the bowler? Really? <laughs> it's like saying you're going to drive to the showroom to buy a car and you haven't got a car to drive to the showroom in the first place. Anyway, this is a high level so it's going to take a while so I'm going to skip forward a bit. On a Ragnarok map, we always seem to head towards the ice area, and the cold starting to kill me. I haven't got my fur armour on me, so I'm going to have to head back to base to get it. I almost died, but I managed to get out of the cold area in time. And now I've got my fur armour. This is really not a good place to knock a Quetzal out in. There's a lot of wolves around it.
Right, it's down. I better land quickly and get the spike wall up. Always put it far enough away so things can't reach over and attack your tame. I'll move my griffin in and give me enough space to land here. Oh crap, I've got wolves at the door. Well, at the fence anyway. I'll reinforce the spikes just in case I get through. Sounds like that wolf pack's damaging those spikes quite a lot. So I'm going to give a quest with the narcotics and kibble and take care of the wolves. Oh crap, I better hurry, they're coming through. Seems to be quite a lot of them. I think these are going to take a while to kill, so I'm going to skip forward until I've done it. Ah, oh, peace at last. Quetzal's eating a kibble, so all I have to do now is wait and feed it narcotics. I should have stood back more because it's pushed me in a spike wall. And there we go, another Quetzal tamed completely by myself. For your first one, I would go for a low level Quetzal. Then you can stick a platform saddle on, build a cage to trap Quetzals, then start going for the higher ones. I've also done a video on how to tame a Quetzal with a friend, that you can find on the playlist at the end. Oh, that kind of rhymes. One last thing, when you finish taming, take your spike walls down. They look ugly, clog the server up, and probably contributes to server lag. Plus you can always use the resources to make new spikes. Thanks for watching. If it was helpful, click the like button. And if you're new, please click subscribe and become a nooblet. You can also click the bell icon and get notified as soon as I upload next. And don't forget to check out my other helpful videos. Goodbye and hope to see you again.